What cameras do I use for my tattooing and my day-to-day -day life? I thought I'd give you a little insight here, a little insight into what I deem to be my favorite gadgetas. For a long time I used my phone, and ain't nothing wrong with using your phone. You can use your phone as much as you damn want. And then I thought I'd dabble in using an actual camera, and I kind of regret it because from then on, I could just see the digital side of taking pictures of my phone. And don't get me wrong, like I've got the 15 Pro now, and it's great for like days out with the kids and stuff like doing videos, especially quick video shorts and all stuff like that online. And you can actually make it look really good. You can actually record in ProRes now, which if you haven't tried yet and you use something like, I don't know, Premiere Pro or even CapCut, the desktop version or DaVinci Resolve, then ProRes is gonna hold a lot more data for you to edit. But I now like recording on other shit. So this is what I'm using right now. For my day-to-day -day stuff with the kids and the family and like cool pictures of everyone at work, I use the Fuji X-T30 II. This guy, the Fuji X-T30 II. How do I, is it, is it, here we go. It's a great little camera. It's a great little camera for your everyday, your photographs. I'll put some up here if I've got any saved because with that, you can program in film simulations. Now I use an app called Fuji X Weekly, which is free apart from the most recent ones they make. I'm pretty sure. And you put all of the recipes into your camera and then you literally just take JPEGs, send them straight from the camera to your phone. And if you're like me and you fucking need to use shit other than the phone, you can't settle for the easiest stuff. You have to be a technical piece of shit. Then it's great. I use it religiously when I'm out with the kids, when I'm out with my family, when we're having family dinners, when we're doing anything that's not me sitting indoors drinking a fucking tea. And I usually put in some nice recipes and then it comes out as film. I have actually recently acquired, it's not mine, it's Alice's. Uh, she brought them in, she had them stored in her loft for a while and said, oh, check it out, I've got some film cameras I'm not using if you wanna have a play around. So I am gonna try and, uh, if I get this fucking thing out, come out. I am gonna try this out. So this is the Canon AE-1. I haven't used it yet. I've just ordered some film, so I'm gonna give it a try. They look fucking smart. You know, obviously film's expensive, so I'll take a picture and I'll be more selective about what pictures I do take. And that'll be quite fun to do, and I can save the pictures. They feel a bit more memorable then, and, you know, when it's an actual photo onto film, it's more physical, it's in the hand, it's like... It just feel like sometimes, especially the new age of tattooing, not tattooing, the new age of photography is like, a, there's an advert, I think for a Google phone, and you take a picture and you can swap the faces. Well, what the fucking hell is the point in having photographs at all? Well, you could just AI up a photograph of your family and be done with it, get it printed, done. I like this, it's like, I guess what people feel about vinyl, you know, there's something nice about having it in your hand. Putting the needle to the vinyl and hearing the little crackle is good, that grain, the light leaks, everything like that. It's really satisfying to look at. And then last but not least is what I film on and I take my tattoo pictures on. It's the Sony a7 IV. I had the a7 III and the a7 II before that. And when I saw that a7 IV was coming out, I had flip screen and all this stuff, and I got really a bit more into video. I knew I wanted to do a bit of YouTube. I wanted to make short films with the kids, which I'll tag below, because you should check some of them out. My kids love making that stuff. It's fun. And I got it, and it's fucking great. You can record 10-bit, am I right? Yeah, you can record 10-bit files on here, 422, so you get a full color range. It's got really good color dynamics. It's just a great camera. Pair that with a good lens and you've got some seriously good tattoo photos. I put a, I have a, tis, a Tiffin, 
What's it called? A Tiffin Glimmer Glass One on the front, just to soften the skin tones up, add a little bit more beauty to my face. I use, if I'm out and about, I'll use a variable ND filter from a four to 32. Not only that, but I've got other gadgets as well. When I'm at like conventions and stuff, I'll use the, the Ronin Mini RS, RS3 Mini. This thing's killer. Oh, can't see it. Focus on it, you fuck. Whatever, that thing there. I don't use it as much as I'd like to because like the a7 IV has an active mode which does crop down but you're already down sampling from 7k to 4k so cropping it down is really not really taking that much quality away from. But if I really want to get in that production mode I will use gimbal. I'll get the gimbal out. And then my girlfriend bought me a couple of years ago or last year, I can't remember, GoPro Hero 9 and I've got a little ND filter on that and that is great. I did some underwater filming with that when I was in Mexico last year on holiday. The lens I use for tattoos is this, the Sony Zeiss 55mm f1.8. I use the Tamron 28-75mm to f2.8. I use that for maybe conventions and if I want to take it for like more days out and like product shoots and stuff like I do a lot of them but you know what I mean and then I use the lens I've got on here right now is the Samyang 24 millimeter f1.8 and this fucking lens is killer I do a bit I've done some astro photography I've done a bit astro with it I use it for all of my YouTube videos shorts and full length and it's just a really good lens to have around it's a nice focal length to capture everything and nothing at the same time you can get close enough that you can blur the background out really nice and far away enough that you can catch the whole environment. So yeah, they're good lenses. And yeah, that's that. That's what I use for my cameras. I will do, if you're interested, some more technical dives into how I have my settings, especially for video, and how I have my settings for tattoo photos. And one thing you might all notice a lot with my tattoo photos is that they change a lot. So I experiment all the time. I don't have just a set amount of settings that I use for tattoos. I'll do one and then I'll get into Lightroom and fiddle around with it. So yeah, they're always different. Sometimes I'm not happy with them, sometimes I am. But I also change where people stand in the studio. I am gonna purchase some lighting and make a designated area, I think, for tattooing because I'm getting sick of myself sitting there editing on Lightroom when, you know, the tattoo I did four days ago's photo was absolutely fine. So yeah, I might set up a designated lighting area in which I'll get a couple of tube lights, some linear polarizing filter, and go like that. But yeah, that is the gear I use for film and photography. And you know, in the future, I might deep dive into how I have them set up. I appreciate you watching. You can support my YouTube channel by jumping on my Patreon. As little as one pound just to support, or five pound if you want to get the videos in early. I'd really appreciate it if you could jump on there. Failing that, you could buy a t-shirt. I'll link them down below. Or buy me a coffee. All the links are down below. Any way you could support if you just want a book in a fucking tattoo, come get tattooed. I'll put the book in form down in the cold, the fucking description as well. Anyway, good luck on your journeys and have a fabulous day. A goodbye.